Hi, welcome to the first of three videos showing me build a tilt top candle stand. This is really inspired by a question from viewer John who asked about making tapered dovetail joints to a column. Now the simplest method would be to flat off part of the column on three sides and just do the normal tapered sliding dovetail of which I've got a video in my joint series. But I've decided to do the, the more difficult one which is where you leave the column circular and you cope the shape of the shoulders on the um, dovetails and obviously that's a lot more difficult. I'm using light red Maranti for the structure and that does have a few little problems. It uh, is quite difficult to finish nicely, it doesn't turn very well. So uh, my turning, as you shall see here, is uh, very basic. I'm not going for the classic shaker style column, I'm just doing something very simple. While the column's still on the lathe, I use the indexing ring and the tool rest to accurately lay out for the three legs. Alternatively, you could use a pair of compasses set to the diameter of the column and just uh, mark that around. Back at the bench, I can continue laying out for the dovetails by putting in center lines on the three marks around the column. Having marked a consistent depth for the dovetails, I can use some improvised gauge blocks just to set out for the slopes. Next I can transfer the sides of the dovetails down the column and I introduce a taper here to make assembly that much easier. I actually make these saw cuts um, perpendicular and then after I've taken away the waste in the central section I just uh, create the dovetail slope by pairing with a chisel. I find that's uh, easier to do. So that's the column completed. Join me next time when I'll be doing the legs. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. And if you want to support future videos, join my other supporters on Patreon. Cheerio!